Hi, Stacy here with Bluebird Paper and Thread. Thank you for joining me today. Today is Saturday, April 13th, 2024. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My channel is on my hobbies, which is cross stitching, uh, sewing, hopefully one day quilting, scrapbooking, uh, paper crafting, card making, mostly treat bags, mostly um, gift card holders. Uh, just what I love to do. Maybe a little gardening at some point in time, but I'm really, I'm trying to develop a green thumb. Doesn't always work out. Uh, if you're returning, thank you. Thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate it. I am going to do my video similar to what I did last week where I'm going to save um, the family update to the end, just so that if it doesn't, if that's not your cup of tea and you don't want to hear it, you can, you can log off when we get to that point. This week I had a very busy week at work, but not a lot that kept me after hours. So for that, I was grateful. Um, I did get quite a bit of stitching done. Uh, I did spend, I was really frustrated, um, last week and I wanted to, I wanted to spend most of Saturday, really all of Saturday afternoon stitching and evening stitching. Um, and one thing led to another and I spent my entire morning cleaning. Like one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another, which led to another. And I was telling my husband, I said, I'm so frustrated because I work all the time. I'm starting to get into my busy schedule, which means I'm going to be working longer or more hours. And I'm, I just don't have time. I don't have time to keep up with much of anything. And it, it's frustrating. So he, he actually started getting sick on Sunday and slept literally all day. And so I thought, well, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> So I pulled out my stitching and I stitched on three projects. So that that's why I feel like I've got so much to show you. Um, and I'm kind of excited to do, to do so. I did have a finish, not a fully finish. I've got to schedule a day to do that. But I have a finish and I got a haul. Uh, one item came in that um, I'm doing that subscription thing. So, um, so let's just go ahead and get started. My finish this week is just stitching by Teresa Kogut. Now, what I've decided I needed to do because I have so many whips, I decided to go through my bag and pick one project that is very close to a finish and work on it on Fridays. <clears throat> if I get to stitch in the morning, then I'll stitch a little bit on it Friday morning and then again. Friday evening. Whenever we're done for the evening, I'll just sit down. However much time I have is what I'll stitch until that project is done. So that will be my Friday project. This was my Friday project. I stitched on it two or three weeks and I got it done. I changed the colors on this and I changed the, uh, it's not fabric. I, I did a, um, like a wooden canvas, I guess is what you could call it. <clears throat> and here is my finish. So it's a little, it's a little off center here, which honestly, if I, if I'm honest, it perplexed me because I counted all of the holes from here to here and from here to here and found the middle and I found the middle on the chart and this is how it's stitched up. And I don't, I don't understand. I don't really care because I love it. I think it's, I think it turned out really great. It's something that's unique and unusual. And so I'm really happy with it. I changed the colors. I wanted something a little more vibrant and a little brighter. Um, and so, and so I did. The colors that I am using are these mostly DMC with a cup out three weeks dye works thrown in. I'll do it this way. 
I will list these colors in the description box below. Now that I'm done and I know exactly what I used, I will list them below. I did mess up in one, one spot, which changed how I stitched this. If you notice in the, this flower, there's like a four point, um, like extra stitch kind of on the points. Well here I missed it and I wasn't going to take out all of that floss and, and fix it. So I left that one as it is and it doesn't, I guess it doesn't have as much dimension as the others, but I did the same thing with this one just so that it didn't look too terribly much like a mistake. Like maybe it was on purpose. They are a little flatter looking than the others, but that's okay. I did not think that I could go over these stitches with another six threads because this is done six over one. Uh, I think it would have been too um, dimensional. But anyways, that's what I got done. I did pick a light pink floss and I only did three strands. Maybe I should have done four or picked a darker floss, but I wasn't going to change it. I will finish this with felt on the back and I have some, I think it's just green. I don't think I'm going to buy any pink uh, silk ribbon, but I think I'm going to finish it with a green silk ribbon. And I'm either going to hang it somewhere in here or it will be on like a cake, um, not a cake's plate, uh, one of these things, Pl plate stand, words, one of these things. I think that would be really cute. So it's a finish. Very, very happy to have it done. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I worked on my Patriotic Quaker. I love it. I bought this uh, finishing kit from Primrose Cottage and it has the backing fabric, which is a navy blue gingham, a red felt square, and some red rickrack. And I'm pretty certain I'm going to finish it like it's shown here. I am stitching this on the called for, which is 32 count light taupe. Lugana. And this is where I'm at. So I added these two flowers here, although I have to do the center of that one. I added this star and this, um, I don't know what that would be called in this little design. I added the stripes on the roof and filled in the white star on the house. I added 1776, I think. Um, if not, then I did the blue and the red heart and the red starting this design up above that. And I'm loving it. It's so pretty. She picked the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect red, the perfect blue, the perfect white to go on this fabric for this patriotic stitch. And I, I'm just, I'm having so much fun with it. <clears throat> and I'm using the called for, and the called for colors are, color, they're all color and cotton, stargazing, old lace, and cherry cobbler.
in a couple days, the next one that I worked on. Actually, I'm going to come back to that one. Let's pull this one out. I pulled this one out because I wanted to work on something just in the morning and I wound up working on it in the afternoon as well. Uh, or the evening. Uh, Birds of a Feather by Annabella. So this is the February one. I am just stitching the birds, that like the motif. I'm not stitching the word February. And I will probably finish it in a similar manner. I love this one because it is... It's got so many bright, beautiful colors, and I'm stitching this on a mystery fabric. I do not know what fabric this is, but I believe it's a 40 count. And so what I did is I did the blue of the tail. There's still yellow that needs to go below it. And I did the light blue of the underside of the belly, and I started in on the medium shade blue right here. And that's as far as I got in a day. This one's going to, it will stitch up really quickly. I think a couple more nights in the rotation, and then it could be a Friday piece and finish it up in a couple of Fridays for sure. I'm loving the colors. I'm using the called for colors, and um, I believe I picked up the pack, the thread pack for this, but they're all DMC. A little tangled at the bottom. But look at how pretty they are. What got me were, were these colors here, the pink and the orange and the light pink. So pretty. And you can see how that bright, bright pink stitches up. So I put some time in on that. That was something that um, I hadn't worked on in a little while. And I like it because, yes, I bought the floss um, because I didn't have all of the brighter colors. Um, but I used a, a scrap of fabric that I found here. I made something that I have here on hand work, and I was really happy about that. Next, I worked on the monthly weigh-in for April. I don't know if I did two nights on this or if this was a um, the Sunday, one of the things I stitched on Sunday, and then I might have stitched on it another evening, maybe Monday evening. I, I'm not sure. But I moved it right along, and here it is. I'm pretty sure I had the scale finished. If not, I only had about six rows to finish. So I finished the scale. Um, I did the bowl, added the, the brown bunnies, started in on the flowers, uh, the white ones below and the pink ones up around. And then I think I have... Yeah, I have a couple orange flowers to do, and then I started working on the banner. So really, I have to finish the banner, and then there's two pink flowers on either end of the banner, and then I have to finish the flowers in through here, and I'm done. So honestly, if I put some time on, like if I worked on this all evening tonight and maybe even a little bit tomorrow, it probably would be done. I want it to be done this week because then it's still April. I could finish April and February. I still have February here um, and put it up and enjoy it. I don't have the, you can see up here, 
up here I've got the I've got the tree um, painted. I have all of the other ones that have been released, the little um, shelf sitter things. Uh, I just haven't painted all of them. Um, again, that's something that I think needs to be worked into a finishing day. But it's turned out really cute. I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing through my air conditioner back here, but it was um, beautiful, beautiful weather this week. And then we have another storm coming in. I'm really so tired of the rain. So we went from being pretty close to 80 a couple of days this week to literally 64 degrees today. Um, I had a, a funeral to go to this morning and it wasn't bad. And then we came home, you know, after the little reception thing and the wind picked up and the, and then I came out to my craft room and I noticed that it was starting to do that very light drizzle, not really a rain, but like when moisture escapes from the clouds, but it's not a rain. Um, and so, you know, we're going to have rain today and maybe tomorrow and, you know. I'm just ready for some warm weather. <laughs> I put some time in on the Scarlet House. I believe I worked on this one uh, on Sunday when my husband was not feeling well. I am stitching this one on 36 count peony fabric by Fiber on a Whim. And I that means I had to change the colors. I like my color choice um, choices because it looks old on this fabric and faded and worn, but here is where I'm at. So I finished this separating line motif here and I started on the alphabet down here. So I just have to finish the, the scripty looking alphabet, do the motif line under that, do the letters, the motif line under that, and then I get to the fun stuff, and there's only one more alphabet left. So, it's coming along. I think this will probably be finished before, I don't know if I can get it finished before summer starts, but I certainly can get it finished before summer ends. And I just love it. The colors I chose with this, um, I kept the black coffee, that was a called for, but I'm using Weeks Dye Works Begonia and Cherub and uh, Gentle Arts Oatmeal. So this one doesn't really coordinate very well, the uh, cher uh, Cherub, but I like it because it looks aged like these colors look aged. So I decided to go ahead and go with that one. So I can't wait for this one to be done. I think it's going to be so pretty. I will frame it <clears throat> and I haven't decided for sure, but I'm thinking this one will be hung out here. We'll have to wait and see. I worked on two sows this week. Honeybee Quaker by Primrose Cottage. Uh, I started this a couple weeks ago. This is a stitch along with Sarah's stitches and stitching, stitching with Sandy. I will link all of that below or I'll um, do the hashtags or their, their channels below. I do not know the name of my fabric, but it is a honeycomb based fabric. I am using all of the called for colors because they are beautiful. Look how pretty they are. They're just so pretty. 
it's funny because Sandy posted her progress on, I think it was Instagram. And I thought, Raro, <laughs> I need to get busy. Um, so I dedicated a little bit of time. I believe I finished this motif. I started the one above it. I finished this motif and I started this motif here. But it is so pretty. I am enjoying this one as well. The blue greens don't really show up. Oh, back here you can see them a little bit better. Up close it's harder to see, but they are, they really do show up. All of the colors really do show up nicely on this fabric. I'm glad that I went with this one. So I worked that one along. It's going to be a little bit bigger of a pillow, and I'm not sure, honestly, if I'm going to make it a pillow. I think the design is probably going to come up to here, would be my guess. That would be an awfully big pillow. Um, I just haven't decided what I'm going to do. I do know... Um, I think Paisley's and Polka Dots has a B-Skep board. I also think 141 Design has one. I may finish this one on one of those. I may make it a flat fold. I may make it a pillow. I just, I haven't decided. I think I will know better when it is fully finished and I see exactly how big it's going to be because it's it's bigger because of the fabric count okay I am doing uh, Teresa Kogut uh, her patreon group she is doing a 24 month stitch along on one of her new patterns hometown so she is releasing just a small portion of it each month. And this is, we're finishing up the last couple of days of month three, month four releases on the 15th. And I thought, I'm a little behind. I need to get caught up. I did not, I was running out of ink, so I did not print the, um, the chart so that you could see it. I'm using all of the called for flosses. Look at how many flosses there are, but they are so pretty and the colors are so rich. I'm stitching this on the called for fabric, which is 40 count up in the attic by Fox and Rabbit. And this is where I'm at. I finished the dark red on the building. I finished the roof. I added the light posts. I do have one more little stitch to do in the light posts, but that coordinates with a color here or in the next building over. These little red squares here are the centers of three flowers. So there are some sheep down here and a deer here. And I need to fill in this, but I'm missing. I thought I, I can't find a 420 and then I found it in one of these other bags. So I can finish this up until I can get to the store and pick up another skein of 420. But this is where I'm at. This road comes all the way over here. And then I believe it's like a cobblestone look coming down from this one. And then there's a little house that starts right in through here or another building. I don't, I don't know if it's a house, but it's another building in here. And then number four will be released on Monday and I'll be able to start working on number four. So I figured finish number three, get as close as I can, and then work on number four. I think it's something I can do. 
for sure by next Saturday I can have most of this done. Even if I don't start on month four, I can get most of it done. Okay. And that's all the stitching I got done. I feel like I got a lot accomplished. Haul is the monthly weigh-in. Uh, from Stitching with the Housewives, I did the subscription through Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, the subscription comes with all of the classic color work flosses that you need to complete that month. And it comes with the chart. You have to buy your own uh, fabric. And the fabric I'm using is the called for, which is, I believe it's 28 count tea dyed Monaco. Wouldn't you know it? It's not listed on this one. But it has to be tea dyed Monaco. Anyways, strawberries. I'm so excited. When my daughter was little, you know how they're learning to say words, she called them strawberry bears. So I have a whole chart dedicated to strawberry bears. This is going to be another fun one to stitch. I'm excited. So that came in. That's that's the only thing that came in. I did really well. I didn't I mean I I I did do some shopping, but it was for things that I needed. Like I needed a a, a gift for someone and I um I need gas, you know, like stuff like that. But I did well with not spending this um, this week, so that was good. Okay, I think that that is it for Stitchy, um, Stitchy Things. I am going to go ahead and update you on what's been going on this week in the Pignatory household. Uh, if you are... Um, not interested. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. I do like to read the comments um, and I will be posting another video next week. Next week I have to work until um, I'm really hoping I can get out early, but I'm thinking I'm working until three. So a video may not come on Saturday. It may come on Sunday or I may film it earlier and schedule it to post on Saturday. It just depends on how my week goes. I know the first two days of this week, I will be at work late, um, probably till eight, seven thirty, eight o'clock on one day and probably closer to nine, nine thirty on the second day. So, um, I will want to take some time off, like an afternoon off later in the week. If I can, I may not be able to. And then we've got um, stuff going on that Saturday at our second location that I have to be present for. So it begins. <laughs> what can I say? Hopefully it will not be raining. It'll be beautiful weather. Anyway, so if you're done, thank you. We'll see you later. Uh, if you're staying and you want an update, I uh, got three letters this week from my son. We we're very excited. Very unexpected. Um, I've been averaging about one letter about every, every 10 days or so, maybe 14 days. Um, so the first letter came back and it was, it was okay. Um, still not as upbeat as I was hoping for. So I wrote him and you know, I, he's, he keeps commenting about how much weight he's lost. So I texted my friend. I'm like, he's they lose a lot of weight. I'm like, okay, they lose a lot of weight. So I, I wrote him. I'm like, stop, stop worrying about your weight. It will come back on. It's normal. You will lose a lot of weight. It's fine. Um, and then the second letter came and he sounds 
like my kid. He sounds happy. He sounds like it's a challenge, but he can do it. Uh, he sounds like, you know, he's hanging in there. He's doing what he needs to do to make it through. He said that he had been back at training for two weeks, which is kind of what we were thinking because no phone calls came. I know that he had to pass his swim test last week, not, not this week, but last week. And, uh, so I was, you know, writing him like, how did it go? I'm going to, you know, no phone call is good. So I, I figured that that was okay. Um, and then he wrote again and he said that he passed his swim test. It was, it was tough, but he did it. And I'm thinking, how really was it tough because you're still struggling with your lungs or was it tough because it was tough because my friend's like it's not that tough it's fine and he's a he's a good swimmer and he's strong he's not a strong swimmer as in competitive swimming but he he's a kid that you can't get out of the pool right so uh I wasn't concerned about his ability I was concerned about his lung capacity but he passed that uh, he is complaining about his shins hurting and he says that the boots are bothering his feet and that the bottoms of his feet go numb. So I wrote him back and I said, you know, try some stretches for the shins. Also for the, your feet, are you tying your boot properly? Are you, um, make sure that you do stretches and don't forget to stretch out your lower back and your hips because all of that is connected and can cut off circulation to your, to your feet. Um, I'm thinking, um, I know for me, when I'm on my feet all day long, the bottoms of my feet go numb. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's just him being on his feet for very long days. That's what it is. In fact, I should write him and tell him that I didn't tell him that before. Um, so, um, so there's that. I asked him in a, in a letter, I'm like, have you been making friends? Maybe you need to talk to your friends. Cause I'm sure that they're feeling some of the same things you're feeling. He says, yeah, I've made a few friends. Uh, he said that his platoon is smaller. Um, they usually have about a hundred kids and they have 55 this time. So, um, I'm thinking that has helped him with everything that's gone on, I'm thinking, I don't want to say that they're moving at a slower pace because I don't think that that's exactly true, but I feel like he has more of an opportunity to really hone in on his training and take his time in a sense, although not really take his time as much as, um, maybe get more, more reps in. I don't know because I'm thinking it takes a really long time to get through a hundred kids of something. So if you have half that amount, you're probably going to have a little bit of free time in the training schedule, which means you can spend more time on things that the kids might need is my thought. I don't know. They've been doing this for hundreds of years. <laughs> I have not. I'm sure that it works. And, um, and so there's that. So, uh, so those letters, the last two letters were, um, I felt like, oh, there's my kid. Okay. He's good. He's fine. He, um, he actually started talking about, they moved from, uh, the San Diego training base to Camp Pendleton here. Um, I think at the end of this week coming up and he wants to be ready for that phase of training. I think it's three weeks of training there. And then the crucible, which is the big end of boot camp test. And then they, um, have a week and a half to, you know, get more like schoolwork type stuff in. Like, I think they talk about like how to behave as a Marine, what, it, what your code of honor means, like, you know, kind of really do a deeper dive into that kind of stuff and, and talk about what it means to be a, a man or a woman. So, I, um, I'm excited. I'm starting to, um, 
to get antsy. I told him, I said, you are halfway done. You are going to be done before you know it. Um, and so we're starting to get excited. His girlfriend's like, can I buy tickets now? And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> he also said in this letter that he, um, he has a week of a lot of skill assessments and tests. And if he does not pass any of those assessments, he will get held back. He'll get dropped, which means he has to wait for the next platoon to get caught up and then he'll join that platoon. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting until he, he gets to the point, like they say, don't buy tickets until like week 10. So like mid May is when I'm assuming we can start booking hotel or, um, Airbnb, whatever, however we're going to do that, start making reservations at a restaurant, you know, make those plans. Um, how much time is he going to have off at the end? When will he have to report back? Where are we going to do his little family and friend get together? That kind of a thing. So that's, um, that's kind of where we're at. So much happier letters coming from my son. My roses are starting to bloom. Um, I have not repotted the the antique rose that was my a cutting from a rose bush from my grandmother's house. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's not dying or anything, but it's I, it's just one of those things where money had to be spent somewhere else. So I I just kind of put a pause on that for a little bit. I can't get to the nursery. I might be able to get there next week or the week after. Um, so we'll just wait and see how the weather is going to be. Um, there's this one nursery here that I really, really love. And it's, um, they have such cute things. And I tend to go a little bonkers and spend four times the amount of money that I think I'm going to spend each and every time I go in there. So I really have to go with, some money already saved and I have to, so I'm budgeting for that now. And I, I really have to be strong and say no. And part of it too, is because Gunner, um, Gunner's still in his destructive puppy, puppy stage. He will be, he will be one on April 20th. So, um, but that doesn't mean that he's not a puppy anymore. <laughs> it just means he's one. <laughs> so, um, so I know that some of my cute little decorative things that we've had, he has gotten into and he has ruined or tried to ruin or what have you. Um, Gunner is doing well. I have been, I mean, my husband was not feeling well off and on all week. I had a couple mornings where I'm like, mm, did I catch it? Am I not, did I not catch it? I did not catch it, but there were a couple of days where we didn't, we didn't walk. Um, yesterday was one of those days and I got home in the evening and I, we were done doing what we were doing. And I sat down, my husband was in the other room, the, the garage, and I sat down to, to do some stitching and watch some TV. And then I hear this clank, clank, clank. And I look up and he has taken his water bowl and he threw it on the steps of the porch and he's standing there looking at me like hello <laughs> lady give me some water so i got up and i got him some water he ha has water i fill it up all the time he takes his toys and he drops it in the water and then he fishes them out and water goes everywhere or the bowl tips or whatever it's his game so um i fill it up all the time and he dumps it all the time so what are you going to do? Um, anyways, I think that's it for me this week. I am hoping to get a little stitching in Monday. I should be able to get some in Tuesday. I may or may not. It depends on how tired I am. Um, and then the rest of the week should be okay. I'm hoping that I'll be able to take an afternoon off because of the two long days early in the week. Um, we will see. Again, thank you for joining me. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. I really do appreciate it. 
until next time, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend and a great week ahead and um, happy stitching. Bye.